Hello, hello, hello. It is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for Mini Kit Monday with Becky, Kathy, and myself. We have a Facebook group site and you should see the link now. Plus, it is listed in the description box below along with Becky and Kathy's channel. Over at Mini Kit Monday's Facebook, there is a album labeled July, along with our inspiration to help you put together your kit. You only have six more days to participate. So if you haven't played along, put a kit together based on our inspiration or not. It's A-OK. -okay. Snap a photograph of your kit, upload it to the album, and upload your layouts, and you will be entered in to possibly win a gift certificate. Now on to layout number three that I've created from my kit. So you can see my embellishments right here. I have a couple die cut pieces. I have these ephemera pieces that I picked up from Hobby Lobby that look like record. Then I have some puffy stickers from Echo Park. Then I have some flat stickers from Pink Fresh Studio Some Days collection. Then I have some like enamel puffy phrases from Pink Fresh Studio from Happy Days. Is that what it's called? No, Keeping It Real. I'm sorry. We have a photograph of our little guy from almost 13 years ago. And that first 12 by 12 paper is from Pink Fresh Studio Super Cool Collection. Then we have Bo Bunny from Willow and Sage. And then that next one with those kind of yellowish flowers on a white cardstock is also from Pink Fresh Studio. All right, off camera, I cut the super cool 12 by 12 pattern paper, six and a quarter by 11 and three fourths. And I secured that to the 12 by 12 paper from Bow Bunny called Willow and Sage. Then I double matted my photograph and I'll come back and tell you the papers that I use to mat that photograph. You can see that I placed that little ticket card that says unlimited visit, happy life moments. And I do move it from that location. Right now I am selecting one of those ephemera record pieces and I try three location and it finds its home on the last location underneath the photograph. Next I move on to my title which the first part of the title is that ephemera piece that you see in the upper left hand corner that states it's all good. Then I will get out the Pink Fresh Studio Keep It Real phrases that are kind of an enamel puffy. And I get out or use, I'm sorry, the word that's supposed to be laugh. The A is missing. It is purposely made this way. I'm not sure that I care for that or not. So I am thinking about switching out that alpha phrase and actually spelling laugh out correctly. As you can tell, I just added that little puffy sticker from the Echo Park collection that says summer is always the best of what might be. Now I move on to the lower left hand corner of the photograph to make a little cluster and I use the stickers from the Some Days collection by Pink Fresh Studio. That blue one says, oh, what a day. Then that geo tag one, I think that's what they're called. It says, you're doing great, sweetie. Then I added the number two, which has nothing to do with our little guy's age. He's not even one in this photograph. I selected it based on the colors of my pattern paper. So I just layer up stickers there in the lower left-hand corner of the photograph. And then I will bring in another like rainbow type sticker and I place it above the photograph 
on top of that red rainbow and that sticker is in blue and it will say wake up and be awesome. I move that yellow flat chipboard piece over to the left side of the photograph next to that blue printed circle with the smiley face. Oh, I forgot that I was playing around with the idea of adding that puffy picture frame um, sticker underneath the photograph to the right, but I do not incorporate that um, frame at all. I do add that little white ephemera heart at the top and then I get out my chipboard pieces from the Maggie Holmes collection and I add the round blue beach ball by my title then I add the ice cream cone to the left of my title then I pencil on my journaling lines and then my final touch is adding Dana Wakely medium gloss spray in lemon and line and then I'm going to go over my layout with you one more time and point out all my embellishments and just a little tip when you are working with a pattern paper that is of course flat to bring some more dimension and interest to the layout bring in stickers and chipboard pieces and puffy elements and that just brings some more dimension and your layout doesn't look flat. All right, be sure to check out Becky and Kathy's channel, our Facebook group site, and give us a thumbs up. Keep coming back. And of course, for Mini Kit Monday, we post on Mondays, but I also post throughout the week for other collaborations as well, or just for the fun of it. All right, we'll see you next time. Most of all, get out your photographs, document those memories in a fun, creative way. We'll see you next time. Bye.